Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be doing something simple, and that is showing you how to fix your rosin when you have dropped it on the ground and it is shattered in a million pieces. So instead of going and buying another one when you drop it, because everyone has dropped their rosin and shattered it in a million pieces, instead of doing that, I'm going to show you how to fix it. So today, we're going to talk about how to fix your rosin when you break it. Here we go. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need is your rosin, with whatever is left in your rosin still there. Then, you're going to need all of the remnants of the shattering, so when you break it, make sure to keep all of it. You're going to need two blocks of wood, one on one side, keep it like this, and a clamp to hold them together, and then some sort of heat source. I was going to use a heat gun, which is no flame, it's just heat, but couldn't use that today because somebody else was using it. Instead, I'm gonna use a silk torch. I don't know if this is gonna work, so we're gonna just kind of go trial and error here. Also, for this, you can put it in the oven, and the only problem with that is you have to watch it really close, and it's really, it's kind of hard to be 100% precise. All right, bring you a little bit closer so you can see what's going on here. So, first thing you need to do is, if you have any rosin on the outside of this, make sure to clean it off so it's not sticky, because powdered rosin is very sticky. Now, we're going to take both sides of our pieces of block and we are going to put our clamp around it, making sure we have the clamp in the middle, like in the middle here and in the middle here, because if not, it's going to clamp funny. So tighten it up now that we've got it all tight so that we've got a good seal because it's very important to have the whole thing sealed because if not, when we heat this up, it's gonna bleed out the bottom and we don't want that to happen. Okay, so now that we have our little clamp set up, we're gonna take our torch and hopefully, maybe I should do this on something because I don't wanna burn my table. All right, so I got myself a little sheet of metal that I found out in the junkyard. So we can protect our table from any sort of heat source that we might have. Do this on a non-flammable, if you're gonna use a torch, make sure you don't use, you don't burn your table or anything like that. All right, now I'm just going to test to see what kind of results we can get just with heating that up. All right, if you can see that, it's starting to melt in there. Now don't get too close because you're gonna burn it. All we're trying to do is melt it. Constant heat, you gotta figure out exactly where you wanna be as far as just making it liquefied, and you can see it start to liquefy in there. Make sure you don't burn the wood. You're just trying to heat it up so it starts to liquefy, not burn. You don't want it to boil. That smells really bad, by the way, just so you know. It will smell bad. Sometimes it might be a better idea to do this outside if you're worried about stinking your house up. All right. Now, if you look right in here, we've got some bubblations going on. It's liquefied. And now hopefully those bubbles will get out of there, but it's not a really big deal if they don't. But we have to put the other chunks in here. Got to put all the rest of the thing back in here, so it's not a really big deal to get all that perfect right now. Oh, there's a piece of hair in there. Pour it in when it's nice and hot, sometimes that the powder will actually melt. If you have a little bit left over, not a really big deal. Just leave it, brush it in. Now, I had a pretty big pile right here, so I'm gonna do my best to get that up. Now that we got that powder in there, we're just going to melt that powder back on. And this should be relatively easy because it's all powder. There's no big chunks you have to melt. All right, 
see how that's melting in there real nice. Nice and even. Now, as you can see, ooh, we got a little bit too hot there. As you can see, the reason why we have the pieces of wood on there is because we, if we didn't, it would just run out the side when it liquefied. All right, so I'm gonna back the flame up as I'm getting further away and it's starting to cool down, I'm trying to get rid of those bubbles. You can get real close and eliminate the bubbles with a little pass of the, with a, with a, a closer pass real fast with the torch. Now, as you can see, I eliminated a lot of the bubbles that they're coming to the surface. So I'm gonna let it kind of cool down and I'm gonna add a little bit more heat as I pop all those bubbles on the top because that's what we're doing. We're just eliminating the bubbles by popping them with the heat. Now if I want to move it around so I get some more even, uh, even distribution, I can do that too. Alright. I'm thinking that's looking really good. Now, we're going to do the tricky part of taking off the clamp because what we don't want to do is wait too long where it hardens completely and then it breaks when we take off the clamp. But also we don't want it to run. So we want it to be in that nice sticky place where it's gonna stay, but it's not going to run. Now, as you can see, as I pull it, it's trying to follow me because it's still too hot. So I'm just kind of try to work it and break it off where it needs to be. Oh, it's starting to get hard. So that's good, so that's a good sign. Oh, it's getting close, it's getting close. Now if you, if you have sustained heat on this thing for a long time, you're gonna have, it's gonna take a while to, uh, to cool off. As you can see, it's still moving. Can you hear that cracking? That's because it's close. There we go, oh, there we go, there we go. Try to be careful with it. All right, see that? Perfect. See how nice that is? All I did was a little bit of breakage right there. I'll come over here to this side and we'll see if we can crack that off. Oh, it's cracking, yo yo. Okay, look at that. See, I went from a bunch of dust on a plate to this. Now, this is still a little bit liquidy. You can still move it with your finger. So just leave it here now that it's not going anywhere. And there you go. Okay. As you can see, it's really not that difficult. There's a couple ways you can do it, either with a torch, a heat gun, or in the oven. The main thing is you gotta keep your rosin inside your little piece of wood and try not to drop it, even though it's practically impossible to keep one of these completely intact until you used all of it. I mean. I've never done it in 12 years, so anyway. So the reason why I figured out how to do this was because I dropped it so many times. But this is an easier way to do it. Instead of having to go buy yourself another one, you can just fix it for yourself. So it's really a simple procedure and it's not a really difficult thing to do. Just try not to set anything on fire because then I will be responsible. I'm just kidding, I won't be responsible. If you set it on fire, it's on you. Anyway, thank you for watching, please subscribe. You can find me on all of my social accounts linked in, in the description. Well, not linked because I still haven't figured out how to do that. They're in there. Just go to go to Twitter, type in my name, Chris Kempter, and go to Instagram. You can see all of my paintings on my Kempter Canvas account. And last thing is it's actually my birthday today, so happy birthday, me. Anyway, please don't set anything on fire. And as always, peace out. Subscribe now.